You see that number in the beginning? Crazy. All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with the next edition of Sensational Synergy, Super Synergies, man. We're back with Electro today. I am so unbelievably excited for this one, man. I took this guy up to rank three for defense a very long time ago, and now with Spider-Man Sorcerer Supreme, he got a synergy that makes him pretty freaking good. Now, I'm gonna gather that Sensational Synergy team together, but while I do that, how about we have a quick word from today's sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over, and gaming might never be the same again. They've set the bar pretty high, and there's no going back. You can explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics with hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions. You can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. Now, I've been playing Raid for a bit now, and I've fallen in love with using Tatora Rheinheim. He's an absolute beast, and he pretty much just veils your team, increasing their defense, and puts out block debuffs, neutralizing the kit of most bosses throughout the tower, and is extremely effective at slaying certain Hydra combinations. Now, he also has a decreased accuracy debuff on his default skill, forcing bosses to fight with half accuracy, and he even passively reflects some of the damage he takes and has a chance to freeze anyone who attacks him. I've also been pairing him with Cleopteryx, and to go along with Tatora's defensive prowess, Cleopteryx is an incredibly powerful attack champion. And better yet, she's available to everyone through daily login rewards, so you can easily get her as well. Her kit is all about placing and exploiting hex debuffs, so the decreased accuracy from Tatora helps her exploit the opponent's weakness. Now, this month, Raid just released a giant brand new feature, Awakening, and even better, a brutal new dungeon, the Iron Twins Fortress. Now, if you're good enough to take down the Iron Twins, you're gonna see a pretty huge payoff. Awakening your champions lets you choose a powerful blessing that can transform how they perform in battle. Now, I think this mechanic is absolutely sick, and there's so much variety, and they look incredible. But wait, here's the big news. Raid has just released a super-powered, legendary version of everybody's favorite champion, Death Knight. And the best part is, everyone can get him for free just by logging in. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and October 27th, and you can add Ultimate Death Knight to your collection. So there's seriously never been a better time to get started, but wait, there's more. You can also use the DK Rises promo code for a bunch of free items to instantly level your new strongest champion all the way to level 50 and get 5 star ascension. This promo code is available for both new and existing players. And if you're new and you haven't started playing Raid yet, click the link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen and you can get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, Aina, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure is waiting for you right here. Now these rewards are available to new players only for the next 30 days, so don't wait, get in there and start raiding. All right, so this is the absolute freaking squad, man. Let's go ahead and jump in and let's look at what all of these synergies do for our buddy Electro here. First things first, if you didn't know, Electro takes no damage from shock effects and each shock grants him plus, at rank three, 639 attack and plus 15% static shock damage. Also, shock effects gain plus 75% ability accuracy and duration. That's pretty much the only thing he's got in this kit, plus shocks on special 1, 2, and 3. Sorry, stuns. But with the introduction of Spider-Man Supreme here, this new synergy for Electro, when attacking, 20% chance to inflict a shock passive on himself and the opponent, dealing 30% of attack as energy damage over 10 seconds. Yeah, that last part, it matters for some things, but not for the majority of things. He puts shocks on himself while he attacks, man. That is so big for a character whose only ability in their entire kit is attack rating goes up on the rare time that you have shocks on you. Okay, so that over there is with Spidey Supreme. With uh, Dr. Octopus here, gain 50% additional power from critical hits, and his SIG ability pretty much increases his crit rating. Over here with a good old Stealthy here, 
When one of his stuns on specials fail to trigger, you inflict a shock debuff instead. That's like, okay, it's like fine. It's really not entirely necessary, but it's nice for some more damage. This one is actually great. When fighting hashtag heroes, combat power rate is increased by 25%. There are a lot of heroes in this game. I think there's like 140. Yeah, just checked. 140 out of 234 are heroes. You're going to benefit from that there. Now, the only synergy that Electro needs, right, for the majority of the stuff here is the Spider-Man uh, Supreme synergy, which really just like actually makes this guy usable. Really quick, one more synergy that's also good in very specific situations while under a shock debuff, a plus 30% additional attack. So we'll uh, swap that one in a couple times. All right, get ready because you're about to see Electro actually be good for the first time, like ever, dude. So we're here for our Deadpool in 6.4.1 and <laughs> we're about to just start hitting them. And, and that's all it takes, man. So only two shocks, right? We're starting to ramp up the damage. Four shocks, 7.5K mediums now, 8K mediums now. Deadpool's down below 50% health, man. And now we're gonna go for a special two. And actually, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it, man. So that is, is most certainly a really big damage increase for this guy. Yes, I'm definitely running the suicide masteries there for sure, but that is a very large damage increase, man. Huge, huge even. So we're gonna go for Winter Soldier here. I had Green Goblin on the team for God knows what reason for this fight, you know. Uh, also, he's not a hero Winter Soldier, I don't believe. So the only synergy we're actually benefiting from here is the Spider-Man Supreme one, also the stealthy one. But again, that one's pretty insignificant. So we have class disadvantage here. Winter Soldier has 550,000 health. We're throwing 9K medium attacks at this point, right? We're gonna just, he's, he doesn't throw his specials anymore. That's it, we're just gonna go and hit him. 70. 70K special too from Electro. 70K. We're throwing 9K lighted medium attacks now. 9.5K, 6.1K on the light attacks. Winter Soldier is now down below 30% health. He's just not throwing specials. He's just not going for it. He's just not going for it. We're just staying aggressive. We're having a good time. We're just punching this guy in the face. We're using him as the punching bag. So yeah, that one did not crit. So when it doesn't crit, it definitely does less damage. No doubt about that, right? I cannot believe that that is the sentence that I chose to go with there. But look at that. 44k with a crit with only three of the shocks is definitely not too bad, man. So now we're going to take this guy into some Act 6, some Act 7. We have some like big 450k plus health pools. We have some Act 6 health pools as well. We're going to start out with one more Deadpool fight, Thunderstruck, because this synergy actually makes him an amazing option for Thunderstruck, which is so cool, man. So check it out. Electro not having a shock like in his base kit like this just feels so wrong to me, man. Like I feel like this synergy should just be in his base kit. It's not super OP. It's pretty powerful to be entirely honest. Like it, there, there are many interactions where it's very strong, especially when you can um, combine it with other shock debuffs and you'll definitely see that in this video. But yeah, just for like generic matchups, it makes them like actually usable. It's gonna make him usable for like Cavi Q and side quests if you want to use Electro and have some fun. Um, unfortunately, you know, for like battlegrounds and stuff where you, you can't have synergies, he's still gonna be useless on attack, which is definitely unfortunate, but here, it's the first time we're going to be taking advantage of the hero tag to get that additional combat power rate. And this is Medusa in 6.4.2 and it's Footloose, okay? So with Footloose, as you know, when they use a special attack, they go unstoppable and they evade and they get those buffs. So I'm going to try my best to just not let them, you know, do anything here. So it's going to be really aggressive. That's the name of the game, right? Our combat power rate increase is really, really nice here. So at this point, special three has a 100% chance to stun might be 90 percent um but yeah that's the move here because now long stun 4.5 seconds i believe i mean like that's certainly pretty good man it's certainly pretty good 36 hits rolling through Act 6.4, not too bad. Up next, we have the Stark Spidey on the same lane, which is definitely, uh, we're gonna just try it. 
I'm just gonna try it out, see what happens. Have a little bit, of, uh, have a little bit of fun. All right, going up against that uh, Stark Spidey. Of course, this guy can evade us, right? He's gonna evade us, which is something that we have to keep an eye on. But I mean, you know, the thing about Act Act Six now is the health pools really, truly are much smaller, and it opened the door to champions like Electro with this fun synergy. Even though we're about to jump into Act Seven, where the health pools are like five hundred thousand, um, but still. You know, it really opens the door to like using fun champions like this if you want to, right? Here comes a special one and that's it. That's just it, man. We took some recoil damage at the end. We kind of got screwed out of 5% health, but it's totally fine. In fact, we're going to do one more fight on this lane. We're going to go for this MODOK here. So MODOK with the auto blocks and all that other fun stuff, man. We're going to go for Electro. Now, um, what is so great about these being passives? On the defender is that if you do use this in like alliance war which i don't think people are going to be using electro much in alliance war maybe there's the hazard shift shock right so maybe i don't know man i don't know but I, there's still probably better options okay uh let's let's calm down a little bit let's calm down all right but what's great about it is it wouldn't be feeding willpower now one thing that is bad about it on offense great get hit by the special one is that if those shocks on offense were debuffs you'd be healing from willpower the entire time and it would be glorious but that would probably be just a little bit too strong unfortunately for this guy over here right um but speaking of shock debuffs we're gonna start jumping into some fun in act seven with Green Goblin, which increases uh, your attack by 30% when there's a shock debuff on you. So here, gal Galvanize. Every 15 seconds, the defender alternates between charge up, overcharge. While in charge up, hitting the defender's block inflicts a shock debuff on the attacker. And while in overcharge, all their attacks are unblockable. Also, stun vulnerability here, okay? So, and limber. So, this is going to be a bit of a fun one, a bit of an interesting one, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to set up initially, okay? And when we set up, we just want to get, like, so as you can see right away, hitting this block, and nice. Just a little bit of damage right out of the gate, you know? Oh, yeah, we'll hit his block a little bit, get some willpower healing, increase our attack by quite a bit, because you're getting the plus 30% from Green Goblin, and also you're getting the additional shocks from um, the passives, from the synergy, and... You're just, you're getting more attack overall from all of them, man. There's lots of attack increases here. So now at this point, right, I want to stay at two bars of power. I want to wait for him to go into his damage phase again. As you can see, just hitting him here, Red Hulk, 400 and something thousand health, down below 70% health. But now, come on, back up. Back up, buddy. Back up a little bit, buddy. Back, go, go that way. Back up. There we go. Can hit his block, right? Four times again four times right absolutely lovely we're gonna go in 83k special two 17k mediums 11k light attacks we're gonna go in for a special one we got the freaking stun 17k mediums again oh my god oh my freaking god this is electro by the way doing this electro now electro with green goblin might actually be able to do some of that right without the spidey supreme synergy but the thing is like the spidey supreme synergy and these like high shock matchups it takes this shock damage output like the, the attack increase and it kind of doubles it not not one to one double it but like you know you're getting a second source of shocks on you which is like when there are shocks he's literally good which is kind of crazy and while i was making this video i discovered there are more avenues for shock than i thought <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so this here we have um, Shock Vulnerability, which does not state it needs to be a debuff. So the passive, absolutely good to go. Absolutely good to go. Now, one unfortunate thing about this is that this is a Mixed Master lane. Um, if the attacker attempts the same basic attack twice in a row, they evade, right? Light them up. When there's a Shock Debuff, it prevents them from evading. Now, unfortunately, we're putting shock passives on, right? But we're still getting Shock Vulnerability, which is great here, okay? So here we go. Here we go. 15k medium attacks with two shocks. Now we're up to 17k. 36k non crit. <laughs> That's really good, dude. I was literally shocked, man. Like, initially. This wasn't really going to be a sensational synergies video. This is going to be like, this video, I was going to title it, wait, 
dot 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 electro is kind of good now question mark and it was just gonna be him doing like winter soldier or deadpool and once i saw how fast he was getting through those fights i was like what else can this dude do and as i kept going and i found like these interactions here i was completely freaking shocked man i couldn't believe it it's electro now unfortunately he's just so useless without synergies right it's so unfortunate um he's useful on on defense but that's about it now i was kind of playing uh I was kind of gambling here with Heimdall. I was like, oh God, he's got the special two. We're just going to see what happens. Oh my God, he's evading. Let's just watch it. Let's just watch what happens here. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I have never seen a defender show so much mercy in my entire life. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right, so the next one that we have is pretty freaking wild, man. This is an act 7 point something point two. Uh, maybe, I don't know what it is. I don't know where it is, I don't remember. But it is energy adoption lightning. Now, when you attack, okay, you're gonna have a chance, 50% chance to put a shock on you, which without this synergy, great for him like on his own, right? With this energy, of course, you're gonna be getting increased shocks on you with the passive, so I do think the trade-off is worth it. But when there's a shock effect on the opponent, they're going to get a regen buff, regenerating 1% of max health per second the entire fight. So we're gonna see if we can out damage 1% regen per second with Electro, okay? That's what we're gonna do here. That's what we're gonna do. Act seven, 7.3 7 point something. That's where we are. All right. So watch all the shocks. Of course, we have Green Goblin with us because we're going to increase by plus 30% attack when we have the shock on us. Okay. Now, I don't know if those stack per shock. I'd imagine they don't. I think it's just in general shock plus 30%, right? But here, 16K mediums, dude. 106K special two from Electro. 20K mediums. It's Electro. It's Electro doing this. It's like literally his most ideal scenario ever. But it's Electro, man. That's freaking fun. It's fun. This is a champion who like this is useless without these special things, right? Pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy stuff. Now, I don't know if there's like an ability accuracy synergy out there that could maybe increase the ability accuracy of, of, of placing those self- passive shocks on ourselves that could maybe be a little juicy for him um i'm not sure i actually haven't looked into that i haven't thought about that until right now but here we're fighting a blade right we have 11 shock debuffs we have two shock passives of course i wanted to wait for the bleed to fall off of me a little bit no crit on the special two that's okay we're getting some big yellow numbers on the basics man oh my goodness gracious special two from blade that's okay doesn't even matter because we got the big freaking yellow numbers man we're gonna go for a crit here 107k oh my goodness gracious mama mia Mamma mia, that was a hundred and something K Electro Special 2, man. And what's great about like stuff like shock tether, energy adoption, shock, EMP modification, stuff like that. Those nodes are not going away. We are going to be seeing those nodes again. They often appear in like uh, the event quests. They appear in like the new acts. I think there was a, a something shock in Act 8. Um, there's shock vulnerability almost every chapter, right, dude? So, like, this is just something you can keep in your back pocket. If you have Electro ranked up for Alliance War Defense or General Battlegrounds usage, man, I really do hope this guy gets a buff and he has something similar to, even if they just put this synergy in his base kit, change this synergy to something else. That would be cool, man. If he can, do, dude, if he can do this, in battlegrounds of course like you know you wouldn't be able to get the the debuffs but just like what we were doing against like deadpool and winter soldier he could actually be like a dual a good dual use champion in battlegrounds because right now as it stands in battlegrounds like he's won me a few matches man he has he's just like walled the opponent and just like brought their health down to 20 percent health because he's an absolute ass pain on defense um but if they end up drafting a Falcon or somebody like an Archangel, right? I'll do some damage to Archangel, but let's just go with Falcon, man. Like, 
it's pretty much a wasted pick because you can't place him on defense because that's just such an easy fight for Falcon, right? Or like anybody else, Namor, right? It's just such an easy fight for them. So that just becomes a free matchup. At that point, like you would want to be able to use that defender on offense for, for something, right? And if he can do this sort of thing, even if it was to a lesser degree, I think that'd be great, man. And I feel like the blueprint is here. The synergy exists. You see how it works. It's been tested. You've seen videos of it in action, right? It wouldn't be this powerful because you wouldn't have the debuffs. Could be a quick and easy little value buff for this guy. Very much so needed. It would be nice to have as well. Um, yeah, he could be a very useful uh, champion at that point. As it stands right now, you know, I think he's still primarily a defensive rank up, but for the people who do have him up for defense, like me, I think it could be uh, kind of fun. So yeah, this goblin was being really annoying, as you can see, right? He's just being a little passive. He wasn't throwing specials, right? And now, I don't even know what I was. I was so blocking, dude. I remember. The, I remember when this happened. I went. In, I went back in and killed him. But real quick, I was absolutely blocking during this. Check it out. Look, watch. I am on a hot block. I'm just holding block. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, you got me. He, I guess he just, it's just a skill issue. I guess he's got a skill issue there. Um, but no, you know what? We haven't fought Deadpool enough. We gotta fight him again. This time, we're adding some more regen on top. He's gonna be regening while he has the shock on him. All right, some more regen on Deadpool here, because <laughs> this guy didn't have enough regen. He needs more. He needs more of it. That that's it. That's all it is. Right. Um, but yeah, dude, it's just it's fun stuff. It's really fun stuff. Uh, I feel like. I remember there being, were there, was it, what was it in Act 8? Something with Shock. I just used Scorpion. I was just using Scorpion for everything, but um, I, I didn't think to use Electro, but that would have been fun. You know, like anything that puts Shock on you. Because the thing is like Scorpion Shock immune. So he's the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, yeah, I'm using Scorpion for everything else. Let me just roll through this with Scorpion. Looking back at it, it'd be fun to, uh, would have been fun to use Electro there. 115k special too. That's all. Just 115k special too. Um, pretty, pretty uh, okay there. Pretty okay there. We got one more fight on this path here. We got this. Oh, look at the Hulkbuster. Tanky Hulkbuster, 400k damage. Now, one defensive threat Hulkbuster has is that when you crit him, he puts shocks on you. But we have a pretty high crit rate, <laughs> and we want those shocks. So something tells me this is gonna be a good one. Something tells me that, because once you remove Hulkbuster Shocks, like that, is it starts, starts to be pretty good, so 20k medium attack, 20k, 23k, 44k non-crit, 30k, end of the heavy, I mean, it's pretty good, man. At the end of this path, there was this dragon dude. Uh, with all these nodes, right? Now, fun story about this. It's important that you know this information while we're going into it. I thought that the nodes were like, just like stun immunity, right? So I was like, okay, he's stun immune. That, that's great, <laughs> right? So just keep that in mind as we're going along. I haven't fought this guy for a bit. And just keep that in mind, okay? No shock cheese here. We can't get shocks on us here, but we can place shocks on him and we can place our own shocks on us. So no debuffs, right? He's being a little passive, right? He's being a passive patty here, but that's okay. We got our special two. We're gonna go for it with one shock, 52K. Dragon dude down to 75%, not too bad. This is going well. He's a hero. We got the increased combat power rate, which is always a wonderful time, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and go for a special two again after we bait out his special one. And turns out the note is stunning reflection. <laughs> so it was, it was going well. It was going well, um, but it turns out that when you stun them on the special attacks, it, it, it stuns you right back. So you don't want to do that. You really want to be careful about that. 
But anyway, man, that was Electro, sensational synergies. This guy is so much fun with the Spidey Supreme synergy, dude. I'm not sure if four star Spidey has it. Let me check really quick. Yes, four star Spidey does have it. Does three star Spidey have it? I wanna say no, no, no. So four star though does have it. So if you have an Electro ranked up, hop into the arena in a few days and pick up the four star Spider-Man Supreme and have some fun with your ranked three Electro because the dude is an absolute blast, man. Um, it's nothing absolutely game changing. He's gonna be actually usable now for like event quests and side quests and even just casual questing, which is fun. Um, but until he does get a value buff, he's not gonna be that, that dual threat champion that I want him to be. Nevertheless, super excited about the synergy existing. I'm excited about this rank three Electro actually being usable for like fun content now whenever I want. And uh, yeah, man, that's it for this one. I'll be seeing you around. Hit the, the like in the comment and stuff like that. Um, yeah.